I have been asked to react to these utterings that doctors does a 12 hours life saving surgery and then patient thanks God. Not only patient, even I thank God. That's fine. Hi, my name is Dr. Yash Kulati. I'm a senior consultant, orthopedic surgeon specializing in joint replacement working at Indraprastha Apollo Hospital. I was also awarded Padma Shri by the President of India as well as Dr. B.C. Roy National Award by the President of India. If I was not a doctor, I probably would have been a lawyer because that's what I used to think I would be when I was a child. I don't know why, but that's what it is. And my parents wanted me to be a doctor, so there I am. Yeah, if I could turn the clock back, I would have probably spent more time when my children were growing up. And this is a message I would want to give to my younger colleagues also that spending time with family is equally important, as important as spending time in the profession. Almost every week, Yeah, if I was to give one advice to people, it would be activity. If you can stay active, half the diseases can be kept away. People used to say one apple a day keep it, keeps the doctor away. But the truth is, one exercise a day keeps the doctor away. See, human body is also like a machine. Things will go wrong at one point or another. And I myself have had some problems time and again, fortunately minor ones. But every time, even I went to my colleague to show myself, I felt so reassured and relieved. So obviously, we also go to the specialist for whatever problem we have. And it's uh, I can now feel what the patients experience when they see a doctor because you feel secure when you see the doctor. <laughs> One thing I can never forget is that I asked one of the patients that you need to lose weight and he says how so I told him you know dieting and you have to do exercise and all that he says main exercise to nahi karunga na main dodunga na main bhagunga maine bola kyun wo bole shastron mein likha hai ki upar wale ne saans gin ke diye hain mujhe saans jaldi khatam nahi karne hain and this is a true incidence I think now doctors are getting more health conscious because of our tough routine. Sometimes we tended to ignore our own health and take it for granted. But I, I, I think uh, this should not be the trend. Doctor is no God. Doctor is only a human being. Doctor is only a professional. Please treat him like a professional and please accept the results because every doctor is trying to do his best. That I can assure you. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, there are, uh, I've had some results uh, in one of my, in some of my patients, which I thought will never happen. And they were nothing short of miracles. Eh, all the time, but that's okay. I mean, um, that's fine. It's understood that your friends and your relatives expect you to see them free. Although if we go to the shop of the same person, he will not give me any item free. That I also I know. Well, what is wrong with it? It's a profession. I don't think doctors are minting money, say like lawyers or many other profession. But if you can earn money with dignity by providing good service, that's fine because, you know, unfortunately what happens in society is that if some lawyer is going with a very big fancy car, people say, oh, what a successful lawyer. And if a doctor is going in the same car, say, look, patients ka paisa loot ke car chala raha hai. So this mindset in the society has to change. Doctors are also professionals. They should be respected as a professional. And doctors also should provide, provide true professional service to their patients. It has to be a win-win situation for everybody. Well, there are many ways. Uh, in my case, I am big way into music. Like during COVID times, I learned how to play saxophone. So there are many ways one can de-stress. But it's very important to have 
a hobby or a passion outside your profession also because that's what will maintain balance in life. My dear colleagues, Dr. Day is round the corner and on every such occasion we try and dedicate ourselves, rededicate ourselves to the welfare of society and my slogan would be empathy with dignity. We have to be empathetic and people we expect should give us dignity.